Hello guys, it's Supervisely team here. Let me get you straight to the point of this video. Supervisely not only supports multispectral images, but can offer convenient tools for importing, viewing, and labeling them. And we will talk about all those tools in this video. Multispectral images can be used almost in every industry, but here's a short list where they are used quite often. Environmental monitoring with multispectral satellite images, agriculture, with UV and thermal images, medicine, damage identification, or we even can use UV pictures of our palm veins for biometric identification. Now we all know that multispectral images are an important topic, so let's talk how we can use them in Supervisely. And if we are talking about working with images, the first step, of course, is importing our data. In this tutorial, I will be using an import application, but you can use our Python SDK to upload your multispectral images just with a few lines of code. You will find the link to the detailed tutorial how to do it in the video description. Let's open Supervisely ecosystem and find our import application. It's called Import Multispectral Images. And there is one important thing I would like to note about Supervisely applications. All of them have detailed README, and if you don't know how to run an application, you can always find answers in the application's README. So as you can see, here's an example of structure for our data. I've already prepared it, so I can run application and upload my data here. It will took some time for the data to be uploaded, but then I can just click on the Run button, and the application is started. In just a few seconds, the new project will be created. We can open it, and let's check what's inside of it. As you can see, I have several groups of images in my project, and now it's time to talk about group display in Supervisory Labeling tool. It's not just about showing the images in the same scene, it's about synchronized panning, zooming, and the most important thing, synchronized labeling. And what does it mean? It means that when I create a label on one image, it immediately will appear on other image in the same group. Just imagine how this feature can speed up the labeling process. Let's create a bounding box class, and we will call it a greenhouse. Now we will add the label here, and as you can see, it appears on the other images in the group. Of course, it works with other tools too, such as brush tool. Let's create a road here. We will slightly adjust the brush size and draw a road. So as you can see, it works great with brush tool, but of course it supports all the tools such as polygons, polylines, and others. And I showed you how you can manually annotate multispectral images here, but we can offer you a faster way to do it with uh, a powered supervisory smart tool. Let's check it. And we will open another image here. And now I will show you how to use the smart tool for automatic annotation. Let's find some fields here and create a new class for them. My smart tool is currently connected to the segment anything in high quality model, but of course you can use any other pre-trained models in Supervisely, customize the smart tool, or even integrate your own custom model into Supervisely. You can find all the required tutorials to do it in our developer portal, so if you don't know where to start, the developer portal could be a great starting point. You will find the link to it in the video description. And now let's check our smart tool. I will just Select this object, and as you can see, the smart tool then the job for me. Let's do it again, and it works. As you can see, the labels appear on other images in the group too. And that's it for today. I've shown you how to import multispectral images, what is the group display feature in Supervisory Labeling tool, and how to annotate multispectral images both manually or with Supervisory Smart tool, which can save you a lot of time. I hope that this tutorial was helpful and we would appreciate it if you press the like button under the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more computer vision tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye bye.